Today, I am out for revenge. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my hardcore world. That's right, we have spent over 800 days building a dwarven mega base, basing it very loosely off Moria in the second age, and for context, we barely even began on the grand scale of this build. And then when we're done here, we're gonna be heading out of the cave and into the open world to expand our fantasy world. But before I do, please consider hitting that sub button as it greatly helps me out. And it means that I get to say that I can muster a legion of dwarves armed and filthy. All right, team, listen up. I need you guys to start breeding with each other because we need a lot of leather. So, uh, yeah, just uh, get on with it, will you? I've really got to start semi autoing this wheat production. This is so infuriating. And then sometimes your brain is going a million miles an hour and you realize that you've probably just wasted about an hour of your time because we can actually just buy books in order to complete our first task, which is killing the Ender Dragon, because we need to get a bunch of enchants to just add on to our gear. So let's head over there and we'll get some emeralds, buy some bookcases and start expanding this bad boy. Well, it only took about an hour and a half, although I did forget to actually hit record when I was time-lapsing half of that, so the time-lapse actually only says about half an hour, but I promise you, it was about an hour and a half, or at least it feels like it. But we finally got an Unbreaking 3 trade, so we can use that for the boat. We also went ahead and got Power 5 and Infinity, and I also went ahead and got Protection 3 uh, so that I could make some Protection 4 books uh, just to upgrade the last bit of my equipment. Anyhow, we're going to go ahead and craft two things. So we can go ahead and craft a bow. Oh, we accidentally made two bows, my bad. Then we can also go and craft a 16 Eyes of Ender, and that should be enough to not only find the portal, but also claim the portal as well. So we're going to go ahead and go and do that right now. And it's oh, conveniently going to go in that direction. Huh. Honestly, I thought it would be a pain in the butt and take me all the way over the ocean in that direction, honestly. But anyway... And, oh, I was going in this direction. Oh my god, imagine if it was right under our iron farm all this time. Oh, so it's going back this way. Okay, so we're now... Ah, oh, it broke. So now we only want to be going 200 blocks in this direction. Right, so now we just have to go ahead and dig down uh, and figure out uh, roughly how deep this thing is. So let's get down there. And uh, I thought I had, like, completely missed the mark because I wasn't finding it. But I dug down two more blocks randomly. And we've got the achievement I spy. Does that mean... Wait. Oh, I thought we were going to have dug straight into the portal room then. I was I was about to celebrate like mad because normally it takes me ages to find. Oh, is that the... Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, there we are. Nice. I'm breaking three. Mending. Sharpness three. Impaling infinity. Paper and some books. I might as well take the books. Uh, actually, I might as well chop this whole thing down and take the books because we can uh, probably use these books again. I think we're getting somewhere. Uh, I think this is the portal room, if I saw correctly. It's a good job we brought enough because there's literally only one in the portal. I think that's about next to the most unluckiest spawn for a portal we can possibly get. I think other than that, zero eyes is the next. In fact, do we even have enough here? One. Oh yeah. Boom. Nice. Well, we're not gonna go in there just yet because we need to head back to our base and prepare because I wanna bring some potions. And we finally dug out. Now I was in a bit of a pickle back there. So let's try this again. First, let's roll the clip of what happened the last time I tried to fight the Ender Dragon. Oh, no, no, no. No! So, as you can see, I actually... <laughs> 
I absolutely failed at fighting the Ender Dragon in the first run because I completely didn't realize that jumping on the towers would cause an explosion on the crystals because I've never ever been that close to the crystals before. I've always ever just shot up, but for some reason I let the pressure get to me. Anyway, the end result was I died. So we're going to try this again, except this time we're not going to jump up onto the crystals. We're just going to try and keep our cool and fight them and hopefully kill the ender dragon, get an elytra and get back. But first, let's head back to the base and stock up on supplies. Okay guys, so we're now actually at a point where we're ready to fight the ender dragon I've gone ahead and made some golden apples as an emergency food to heal me We've also got a potion of slow falling and a potion of strength And we've also got some ender pearls just in case we get shot off the island So we're gonna head over to the end portal and I'm gonna create the most epic sequence for the video that you'll have ever seen in a hardcore video Just because I can because we're gonna get revenge on the ender dragon all right guys we're at the end portal and i am so nervous right now but at the bottom of this shaft is the end portal so we're gonna go in and we're gonna record the fight and let's commence the most overly cinematic potential fight that you've ever seen in the end uh, from somebody that has never fought the ender dragon i must stress that i have never fought the ender dragon on my own uh, in the survival world. I've done it with friends on a server, uh, but I've never done it on my own So most people might be like, oh mate, get over it. It's just the ender dragon. Uh, but for me, this is uh, Yeah, I don't want to lose my hardcore world again. So Yeah, let's just get on with it All right now we just need to get the end crystals. There's one down There's two down there's three down. Yeah, this is what happened last time, by the way. I couldn't, like, see them. Oh, sugar, honey, iced tea. All right, there's that one down. Oh, sugar, you just reminded me. I need to record that as well. Let's recenter ourselves again. Let's see if we can get these. There's that one down. There's that one down. Oh, there's that one down. All right, I'm going to take a slow falling portion. Don't worry, I'm not towering up to jump on a tower. Come on, come on, come on. Right, there we are. Now we've got them all. Da, 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 da. I think I can do this. Oh, sugar. Oh, we're down to 50% health almost. Alright. Strength to strength portion. He's took off. We're almost there. Building up the suspense here. Oh, come on, this is taking the mick now. <laughs> He's only got to done it. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha
<laughs> Nothing really. Shouldn't have even streamed it. It was really easy. <laughs> right, so if I hit it, it'll teleport down. Ah! And then we place a torch under it. And there we are. There's the next generation achievement. Oh my god, as if I've done that. I can't believe I've actually done that in hardcore. Now we just need to get out of the end and not die with an elytra. And then I will be happy to not come back here for a couple of weeks until we need to come back and completely transform the end. My finger is pressing down on shift so hard right now. <laughs> right, okay. So I think all we need to do is place you down there. Wait, did, did, is that not? Ah, there we are. Remote getaway achievement. There we are now. Right. Um. Right, I'm probably going to need to take some screenshots of that corner. Oh, okay, so we turned the shaders off so that we could see further, and we've finally found a ship. It's only taken us, I think, like 20 minutes to find it. Hey, the city that never, that never, wait, the city at the end of the game. There it is. There it is. Hallelujah. 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 <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> there we are. Sky's the limit. Goal reached. Got an elytra. And we're going to go ahead and throw the entrance on it. And there's one. And there's two. And there we are. We've got Unbreaking 3 and Mending on our elytra. Oh, look at that bad boy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Looking good. Now, before we move on to the next part, I need to actually go ahead and very, very quickly craft something. Now that we've got shulker shells, you guessed it, we can actually go ahead and make a bunch of shulker boxes. We can make four right now, and we definitely need to go back to the end at some point uh, to get a few more. But for now, that should do for what we need, and we can actually go ahead and just rename one of them. Uh, we do, oh, I do have an anvil, and just rename this... Um, Mike's toolsies and we can go ahead and we can place all of our spare tools uh, that we're not using inside of this shulker then mine it up and keep that in our inventory and we now have so much more space and this is going to be useful because we're going to need space for what's coming next because you may have guessed it but we've gathered all of the materials out of our chest and we're now heading back over to the end to go and build an enderman farm to put it simply we need a much better system to repair our tools as it currently takes about 30 minutes to repair both pickaxes at our zombie farm and that is just not fast enough so we need a much faster way of being able to repair our tools now yes it is a much further away area but i'm thinking that the time that it takes to fly over there repair our tools and fly back will only be five to ten minutes in comparison to the 30 that it currently takes and i'm sure we can probably make this even faster but let's just get to the end so now that we've got the base on, we can go ahead and time-lapse this build. And there we are, we've actually gone ahead and finished our ender farm. And this is basically just so we can repair stuff super duper fast. So if I just go ahead, put the elytra in our offhand and hit this once, this should absolutely fly up in levels. And there we are, it's fully repaired already. There we are, in less than 20 seconds, we have repaired. Now it wasn't completely dead. 
So we're going to head back to the base where we're going to start getting to work and then I'll showcase just how powerful this can be for our world. So we're now back at the base and we have approximately two netherite pickaxes, one with fortune and one with silk touch. Now, the more pickaxes we have now that we have a super repair system and a better XP farm in our mitts, we can actually go ahead and make another one because we have one more spare netherite ingot. And pop in the tablet and there we are, we have another netherite pickaxe. Now, we just have to go and buy a bunch of entrance to throw on this pickaxe. And God knows if it makes it cheaper, but let's go ahead and combine the books Throw in the pickaxe, throw on the enchantment, and there we are, we, there we are, there we are, we now have another pickaxe which is ready for you. So we now have three pickaxes so we can move on to start mining again. So using the three pickaxes that we've got, we're going to go ahead and mine out some of this area until they're all done where we can then time just how long it takes to repair all three pickaxes and we can compare it to how it would have took before. Alrighty then, that's all of the pickaxes used up as you can see. So let's just quickly put everything away in the appropriate chests. Now let's head over to the end and time how long it takes to repair all three pickaxes, our shovel and the rest of our hoe. Well, that took about nine minutes to actually do and repair four tools. Now, it would have been five tools, except I realized our hoe doesn't have mending on it yet because I obviously just didn't think that we were going to use it that much. So that nine minutes included walking across the bridge and repairing a tool that couldn't be repaired for about 30 to 40 seconds before I realized. So really, it was only about seven minutes, give or take, if I was to really speed run it. And that is ridiculous compared compared to the fact that that would have took us about an hour to repair using the old zombie spawner so it was definitely a worthy investment considering it only took me about an hour to build the whole thing and gather the resources in the end however we're going to move on now because i want to get this project done before we hit a thousand days and there is another project but i'm starting to believe that i might not get it done but we're going to go ahead and continue mining out this area until we get to about y0 and you'll see why when we get closer to the bottom Alright ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately you've reached the end of the video, which means that you're going to have to go back and watch season 1 and the start of season 2 again of the Hardcore World. Uh, no reason why, I just thought I'd plug that shameless self plug you know uh but guys thank you so much and thank you to all of the members and the twitch subs that are helping make this dream possible of eventually going full time in making these videos uh but it's been a good one unfortunately we haven't quite got the project done that, that i wanted to get done uh just due to the fact that i had trouble getting back into the swing of making videos last week after taking a week off and then this week, I came down with a cold, as you might be able to tell. I'm only just getting over it, and I've had it for an entire week. 
Three of those days I was spent in bed and I could barely move because man flu is a real thing. Uh, don't question me on that. But otherwise, guys, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. I promise you there's good videos coming. So just stay patient. I love you all and appreciate your faces. Have a good one. Goodbye.